Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. This time we are really starting to measure. This time we discuss what is necessary or in which way we can measure electrical variables. This is really important to measure electrical variables. Why? Because most of things we are measuring with measuring electrical variables. It's not just because electrical variables are very important. Huh? However, a lot of sensors really a lot of sensors are working by changing an electrical property. Okay? So we have to determine an electrical property of a sensor by measuring electrical variables. Okay? So this is really a thing we have to know how to measure electrical variables even if we want to measure, I don't know, pressure or whatever, yeah? flow or... The usual sensors the majority of the sensors are working electrical. So we have to measure electrical variables. One electrical variable I'm sure you know is voltage. All right? So we have we measure what to do to measure voltage. Let's imagine here is something. Huh? And from this something, I want to measure here are the lines. It's plugged in here somehow. Yeah. Here we have a voltage source which is somehow supplying this. Yeah. Here's our voltage source. And here we have a certain voltage. And I want to measure this. Right? Since voltage is only a potential difference, a difference, a potential difference between here and here, I have here and here the same difference. Right? So this voltage and this voltage are the same. So how do I have to apply my voltmeter? I have to apply my voltmeter exactly between here and here. Always parallel to the voltage I want to measure. This here is the voltage I want to measure. measure yeah? It's the load voltage. Yeah? And here we have the measured voltage. Yeah? And since all of those are in parallel, the potential difference between here and here are always the same, and these are always the same voltages. All right. So voltage always parallel. Okay. Same voltage. One thing I have to mention is that, you know, we make an, a systematic error here. We make a systematic error because without measurement, yeah, here is a certain voltage, right? Without measurement, I have here a load. Yeah? Here is the, the, the current, which is somehow the burden, defining the burden for our, for our voltage source here. Yeah? This is only fictional because you know it's maybe somewhere else, maybe it's a battery, maybe it's the power plug or whatever. There's a voltage source. Good. Uh, if this is not here, yeah, the voltmeter, if this is not here, then I only have this as a load. If the voltmeter is here, yeah, I have here a measuring voltage. Yeah, it will drain additional power from my source. Yeah? And if we drain additional power from a source, here there is an internal resistor. Okay, here is an internal resistor. And if there is more current running, we will have a higher voltage drop here. And this voltage will, will drop. So by adding, by adding my voltmeter, my measurement device, I am changing the system. Alright, this is a systematic error. 
Uh, now, it might, depending on the size of this, uh, it might, I might end up in influencing this voltage. Uh. I want to have this IM should be very low. Okay, this measured voltage shall be as small as possible. Because if this is almost zero, I will not really influence this total because then I'm, this is a certain amount and then it's a certain amount plus a really tiny thing. This is not influencing too much. Yeah? So this means yeah, here inside this I have an internal measurement resistance. Yeah? The internal measurement resistance Internal resistance, resistance of voltmeter. If you think about, you know, Ohm's law, huh? important. Huh? Here, Ohm is R I M. Multiplied by I am Uri. Huh? This means I am is U, the measured voltage, divided by R I am. If this shall be very low, this shall be very high. Yeah? R I am shall be as high as possible to fulfill this, all right? Yeah. Ideal would be infinite. Yeah. This is not happening, yeah. but as high as possible. This should be the internal resistance of a voltmeter, the, measure, the measuring resistance. Okay. This is for for a uh, voltage measurement, and then we have current measurement. And the other electrical variable is current. So we want to measure now current. Let's make the same drawing. So here we again have our voltage source, which is power supplying our load. And if I want to have the same current passing through my load and my measurement device, I have to put this measurement device, this ampere meter it's called now, here in series, yeah, because now here and here and here, everywhere, is the same current. All those currents are the same. Eh? Node rule. Eh? So current always in series. Eh? Same current. If the current is getting too high, there are, you know, uh, special devices that just can put around uh, Strommesszange current measurement clamp. Well, I'm not sure if this is the correct term, yeah? but that's it. Yeah? Here we still have this U. Here we have this UL. And now we have here also a measurement voltage. And it's still the same. We have here an internal resistance, measurement resistance inside the ampere meter. And, well, of course, this applies here also. This is, you know, what do we want to make? What do we want to have? This measurement voltage 
to influence as low as possible this measurement voltage UM. shall be as small as possible. Because if this is not here, I don't have this UM and this voltage is this voltage. And if I'm adding my measurement device, I'm adding this voltage and if this voltage is really, really tiny, yeah, I'm adding just a little bit and this voltage is not changing too much because this, I think, is almost the same. Huh? So this is then, if this is small, this is changing just a little bit. So UM shall be as small as possible. And now look at this. Yeah? If this shall be small, regardless of the size of the measurement, yeah, then this RIM must be as small as possible. Yeah? So the internal measurement resistance This time from the ampere meter yeah, shall be as small as possible. This comes out of this huh? as small as possible. Okay, so this is how current and voltage are measured, yeah? and this is the the goal for internal resistance. Yeah? If you have two voltmeters and can decide which one to use, I dep depends a little bit on the measurement range. If everything is the same and so on, I would change this with the higher internal resistance. Yeah? And if we want to measure current and every, if everything else is the same, I would use the uh, current measurement device, this ampere meter, with the lowest internal resistance. Okay, if I can measure voltage and current, yeah, I can measure power, okay, power, we are measuring now voltage and current, yeah, Because power is voltage multiplied by current. Huh? So we can also measure power. Huh? Here we have to take care a little bit in which direction. If I put the ampere meter in front of the voltmeter or after the voltmeter, you know, depending on which instrumentation you have, the, the better instrument must always be closer to the load. Okay? So because I could decide if I'm using if I'm using this yeah, ampere meter, voltmeter, or if I'm using this voltmeter, ampere meter. In both times, I measure the voltage and the current. However, here measure the current which is running through the load and which is also passing through the voltmeter. If I very go to voltmeter, I can use this yeah, because then the, the current is not influenced too much. Here I'm measuring the voltage not only from the load but also the voltage from the ampere meter. Yeah. If, I, if I have a very good volt ampere meter, I can use this. Yeah. However, usually the voltmeters are more ideal than ampere meters. So this is the usual way to measure it. Huh? The, the voltage correct version. Okay? This is how to measure power. And then what else? What electrical variables we can also measure? Yeah? Resistance. Here we are also measuring both. Yeah. 
we select one fixed value yeah this means current or voltage and measure the other and then we have r equals u divided by i ohm's law so we measure resistance yeah either we select a, a fixed voltage and measure the current or we select a fixed current and measure the voltage does not really matter yeah? this is how resistance is measured and now we can measure a lot of different all electrical variables right this is how this is done measure electrical variables next time we are talking about those measurement devices a little bit more in detail yeah? even if they look a little bit like antique yeah you should know what is a moving coil a moving iron instrument and so on and this is why i'm going to tell you next time we are going to talk about the moving coil measurement devices how they work how they build well for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye